The sound of walking through a field. The creaking sound of opening the door to your starter house. Then opening a chest to see the contents you've gathered your first few days in the world. You look around and recognize that each and every single block of this house and every single item in that chest was painstakingly placed by you and they are exactly where you left them. You get a cold chill as you realize that you didn't place these blocks today. These items were placed there several years ago. They've been there frozen in time while you have not. In that time, maybe you've graduated middle school. Maybe you've even finished college or got married and started your own family. That weird Minecraft feeling just hits different. A lot of people refer to this as nostalgia. Sure, you can associate nostalgia with different games, but Minecraft nostalgia is just different. Each world you generate is a blank canvas where you can build homes, farms, cities, or anything your imagination and creativity can think of. That's what makes each world you generate personal and especially unique to you. The feeling you get when you hop on a brand new server with some friends both new and old. As you discuss plans of creating mega bases, community builds, massive farms, and endless other ideas. That feeling of excitement when you can't wait to finish school or work just to get back home and play with these friends as you work on projects that you guys previously discussed. You are having the time of your life. Then it slowly happens. People stop logging on as often as they once did and eventually stop playing all together. I don't understand why this happens. It just does. A few months pass and you decide to log back on just to see. As you hop on the server and walk around, you look at all the builds, both finished and unfinished. You reminisce about all the plans, all the conversations, and all the connections you've made with people that are no longer there. Sometimes this hits too hard for me, and I have to step away from the game. But eventually, I always end up coming back to continue my endless adventure, or should I say deep personal relationship with this game. So what does the next chapter hold? I am not sure. I guess we'll just have to wait and see.